All right, take a look at this Facebook post from the Spalding County Sheriff telling 50 residents who didn't show up for jury duty that a deputy will be showing up at their door. All this because less than half of the jury pool showed up today for one of the biggest trials in the history of Spalding County. It's a brutal, racially charged murder that took place 35 years ago. Here's a picture of the victim of that attack, Timothy Coggins. Prosecutors say he was beaten to death in the small town of Griffin back in October of 1983 after socializing with a white woman. Well, in 2017, the GBI received some new tips with witnesses coming forward, and that resulted in the arrest of these two men, 59-year-old Frankie Gebhardt and 58-year-old Bill Moore Sr. These men are being tried separately, and Gebhardt's trial started today with jury selection. Earlier tonight, I spoke with my legal dream team, defense attorney Daryl Cohen and prosecutor Latonia Hines, to get some perspective on this case. But I'm astounded by the lack of response from most of these jurors. This is less than a far less than a 50% turnout, which is unheard of. Less than half the jurors showed up today. Why? Highly unusual case for something like this to happen where jurors just don't show up. I think we've got a major problem. I think jurors were afraid to be on that jury. But I do think it's because it is a very highly charged case and race is involved. And anytime you have race involved, you've got a lot of issues. You've got problems in Spalding. Is this jury selection all about race? No. It's not all about race, but certainly race plays a very prominent part in the selection of the jury. I think it is absolutely all about race. It's because race is what was the animus behind what happened, and then you're going to also need to concern yourself about the racial makeup of the jury. This is a 35-year-old case. Can prosecutors win? They can win. But it's 35 years old. Memories are like photographs. They fade and they fade. And so that makes it problematic in itself. And you don't know what you remember. Who has a better chance of winning this case, prosecution or defense? Right now, I'd definitely say prosecution because what we know in the media about this case definitely seems like it's a prosecution case. At this point, the prosecution has a better opportunity of winning because we haven't yet heard what the defense has to say. But however, you've got to remember the people who have to testify. Will their testimony be the same when they actually get on that stand? After they start testifying, it could be defense. Now, if they concede a jury tomorrow, the judge hopes to get opening statements beginning on Wednesday morning.